Hey guys, and welcome to Black Mountainside. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video is a video update to my 2008 Toyota Yaris hatchback two door model. Really love this car. Um, so, here are some of the updates, uh, things I changed in the car. Uh, starting from the outside, just like the last time, I added two extra spotlights that originally were supposed to be up top on the hood, uh, but that was obstructing my view when I'm driving, so I decided to put them down here. And they have made quite a difference, even though the 12 inch light bar did a pretty good job too, but it was only pointing forward. Um, and these uh, spotlights are, uh, are slightly tilted to the sides, so that way I get a little bit better view from the sides when I'm driving at night. Um, another addition that I made to this vehicle um, is I added a small solar panel that you can see here. Um, it's only a 20 watt solar panel, but um, its purpose really, it, it gives me all the power that I need really. Um, and it's really just to recharge my power banks, which I will show you guys when we get inside. It gives me plenty of power to run, um, to, to run the lights that I added inside, to run the fan, to charge my cameras, my phone, my tablet, all of it. I, I, I'm able to do that with this uh, solar panel. And of course, I, I store energy. So what I do is I charge my power banks with it during the day and uh, or use use it during the day with the fan on if I you know if I'm inside if it's too windy or the weather sucks uh, and it works out terrific but also I charge uh, my power banks um, which are very handy um, for you know when you're on the road and you're doing these kind of things all the power that I need really okay another thing that I changed about the car um, on my previous video which I will leave a link in the uh, description below for my first video. I used to have a roof rack here, uh, and this on the roof rack I had a jerry, a gas jerry can, and I had a gun case which I was using. I modified to use it as extra storage up on the roof, and it were it was working great for those purposes, but the reason I removed it was because the issue I was having with it uh, was a lot of wind noise and uh, the wind drag or the wind resistance uh, you know for such a tiny car like this it was like it was like a, a wind sail basically um, and it was really affecting also my gas mileage I didn't notice that until after I removed it after I removed it you know it did improve even more on, on my gas mileage even though this car is terrific on gas as is uh, okay so I removed that and since it's such a tiny car I needed to figure out what I was going to do for storage um, so up top on the old gun case I used to have all my kitchen stuff um, so instead what I did take you guys out here in the back is I bought one of these containers here these uh, storage boxes they're pretty heavy duty and I keep uh, in here I keep um, all my kitchen stuff um, some camera gear like tripods and such and um, you know extra garbage bags my fire kit fuel pots pans you know all like the big junk basically um, as you can see I don't know if you can tell I removed the back seat uh, just because I, I you know there was no point in having the back seat there it was I thought it, it was going to be practical 
to some exchange because I would have the extra seat back here. I could get changed and stuff. But it was really just taking up a whole lot of room. And I already have a seat, the driver's seat, obviously, where I can do everything like change or eat or anything like that. Or I can lay on the, on the bed itself or sit, which I will show you guys in a second, um, just the same way. So let me show you guys what, what else I did. I also added, uh, I really wanted uh, a table that I can easily access without having to take it apart. It wasn't too heavy, you know, and something that was easy. So I thought about it for a long time, how I'm gonna approach this project. And I didn't want no, you know, Walmart table or a, a huge production because I'm dealing with such a small, small vehicle. So, um, on my other vehicle i have just like in this vehicle i i have a um a tablet mount that attaches to the floor and you know i mentioned this on the last video on, on that tablet i use it i use it for offline offline maps music movies uh and it's really handy especially when i'm out in places like this where i have no reception and i'm trying to look at a map and I'm trying to figure out where I am, where I need to go, and whatnot, right? So, point of the story is, I took uh, another one of those mounts, tablet mounts, and I attached it here. And this turns into a table, and I will show you guys how. Okay, so what I do in order to um put the table together well first of all you know i move some of this stuff out of the way uh always carry extra water with me i move this out of the way for a little bit move my cooler just for demonstration purposes and what i'll do then is this bends um this whole contraption bends so i'll bend this forward Okay, and, and really you can adjust it to whatever uh, length and um, height that you want. And I, you know, I sat for a while and thought about how I'm gonna do this. So I uh, had some quarter inch plywood and I cut out four little holes here that fit into these mounts one two three four and what this mechanism does is it has a spring mechanism inside that you can stretch to fit either you know originally it was meant for a phone or a tablet so it stretches so I'll take my little handy dandy table I'll line it up with the holes here and that's it um, I have a table that can be easily um, taken apart and I can use it for you know whatever I want really uh, what I what I do want to do to this uh, add to this is a little wind blockage here um, just to block some of the wind when I'm cooking and the beautiful thing about this table is that I can turn it whichever way I want if I'm if I want to sit here I'll, I can sit here just like this I can turn this baby over enjoy the view and just eat right out of here and <laughs> this has been working out terrific this is probably my favorite um, modification that I did to this vehicle because it's so practical and just how simple the whole thing was you know um, and it's right out the back of my vehicle when I'm done I take it apart put it back in there no problem right I can cook here whatever like I demonstrate um, like I told you guys so I t I'll turn this over you know 
and that's it. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that this table, I can take it apart, I can take it out of here and do the same thing in the front. So I have the same type of mount that's holding the tablet in the car. And I could take the tablet out of there, again, on, on bad weather days, crummy weather days. I can put the table in the front there and utilize it in the, you know, inside the car and cook and eat the same exact way that I would out here. So I really love that idea, um, all in all. Okay, so that's another addition uh, uh, update for the vehicle. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so, you know, on, uh, on, on real use, you, I would, you know, it would look something just like this when I'm using it. So I'll come in here, you know, I'll open my, my ice chest, grab whatever I got to grab. I got my cooking stuff in here. And, you know, you guys get the idea. Everything is very um, accessible and, and, and easy to to use. It doesn't take up a whole lot of time. Uh, okay, now over here I have my, this right here is my mattress. I roll it up when I'm not using it um, because before I wasn't rolling it up and putting it away and it was getting dirty and it was just getting in the way really. Okay, let's move on inside the vehicle. Uh, oh, another thing that I did, I apologize, is um, I was researching um, string lights that can go off of a USB connection. And I ran across this company called Lumen Noodle. Okay, this company, this, this is pretty impressive. Um, this thing, uh, and I will demonstrate here. Um, I'll demonstrate for you guys um, what it looks like at night right after I'm done talking about it okay uh, so this light um, changes uh, in, in between um, six different types of colors red white blue green da 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 and so on right um, but what I really like about it is that it came with a remote control that I can turn on and off from outside of the car or inside of, uh, outside or inside of the car it takes up very little energy. I run it off my power banks at night and I could be outside of the car and turn it on and it turns on, you know. I really like that about it. Um, it comes with these magnets. It comes with, I uh, believe, is one, two, three, four, five magnets that are attached to the light. The light itself, it's very flexible, but at the same time, it, you know, it's like... A really tough type of um, like um, rubber material so it runs from the hatch that you see here and then I have it running all through straight down the ceiling of the vehicle um, and it goes straight to the back there and I unroll it at night and I attach it to my power banks and turn it on and that's it right um, again because storage was such a huge issue I had to improvise so I seen um, a couple of people or if not a few people on the internet especially off-roading guys they have a lot of great ideas um, they were using these and also the the nomads you know the people that actually live in their cars and have to figure this out uh, anyway point of the story is I seen this idea where people are starting to use or have been using like um, these cargo nets um, on the ceiling of their their cars um, to store extra stuff and I thought oh man this is awesome I need this for my car so that's exactly what I did I I picked up one of those cargo nets that are supposed to uh, they're supposed to hold you know stuff on, on, on like roof baskets um, and you throw them over like kind of like a spider web type you know um, but they also work like this um, inside of your vehicle I took some carabiners to the corners um, you know and made it work so what I put up here um, is my window covers which I have completely remade since the last time um, you know I made them I wanted them to fit better um, 
and I put my pillows up there. Um, put my pillows up there. I put my my window covers, like I said, my hats. Sometimes you know sweater, uh, and that has been working out terrific because I don't have all that stuff down here, you know, and that freaking helped out helped me out big time. It just made things so much easier. All right. Uh, something silly probably to mention, but I'm going to mention it anyway. Maybe somebody else out there is having the same issue as I am. Um, I, I, last night this came about, sorry about the sun glare. Last night this came about, I was, uh, it was the middle of the night. I had to get up to pee and <laughs> it was windy as hell outside, man. And the minute I opened this door, the door just whoop, came flying open and all this dust and dirt and stuff came flying in. Um, the dirt, I don't mind, but the, the way the door opened really, you know, could have done some damage if the wind was any stronger. So I tied a string to the door handle. So when I'm inside and, and I'm opening this, I can kind of ease, you know, if it's super windy, I can open it with without having it catapult <laughs> into, you know, the wind or away from me. Um, the same thing when I get in the car and I'm sitting all the way over there I can I don't have to reach all the way over I can literally be sitting over there and close the door with this string probably a silly thing but it's one of the problems that I've been having um, when I'm out in really crummy weather right okay front of the car uh, let's go in here one hand uh, silly stuff once again I added uh, it's, please don't mind the mess is dirty I've been on the road for a couple of days now and all out in either deserts or mountains and stuff so excuse the you know the dirt but I, I added a, a weather tech uh, floor mat to keep things you know a little bit cleaner even though it doesn't look clean it's just it just makes it easier to clean the car okay uh, I took my shamog, added my shamog to the back of this seat here. Don't know, really know why, probably just for for looks. I don't know. Um, in here, there's the solar panel that I was telling you guys about, which is not hooked up right now. My batteries are fully charged. Here's my, I, I use three power banks. Um, and each one of them has a purpose. This anchor, um, 15,000 milliamp hours uh, is strictly for charging cameras and phones because it does so very quickly. Um, Anchor makes some really good power banks, um, period. Um, I have this uh, power bank, which some of you may have already seen. It's a solar power bank. This is the one that I typically take with me on hikes. You know backpacking so uh, I have it in here as well you know it all depends on the on the kind of trip that I'm going out in but for this trip since I was gonna be out for a few days I wanted to bring as much power with me as possible so this one I only use for my fan which I added here and for the lumen noodle light which I was talking about to you guys uh, and um, what I really like about this fan, which is an also a new addition, is that I can remove it, put it anywhere I want. It's rechargeable, and it has a USB plug-in. And the cool thing about this one is that it has, um, uh, what do they call it, uh, pass-through charge, I think. Um, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, but basically what that means is I can use it while it's charging. And it still charges you know I don't have to wait for it to charge to then um, use it so I can literally use it while it's charging and it, and it, it does so very well um, it's not bad it keeps me nice and cool I can turn it whichever way towards me when I'm driving blah 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 so on and so on very cool addition really not that expensive it was like 20 bucks on Amazon Another addition, um, this vehicle does not come equipped with Bluetooth um, technology, 
So I did some research um, and I wanted to be able to hear music out of my tablet or my phone, you know, inside the car. So I looked up the uh, Bluetooth FM transmitter. This thing is awesome. I can, uh, you could, you know, make phone calls and, and talk just like you would in a, like a brand new car. Um, that has Bluetooth technology, you can get any car as long as it has a 12 volt, um, you know, cigarette lighter uh, charger thingy. You can use this, and of course, a radio, FM radio. You and you, the way it works is you put it on a on a station, but you have to put it on a blank station that doesn't work here, um, and then you have to put the same radio station up here and the bluetooth automatically connects to that and this connects to your phone or to any device with bluetooth um, capability and that thing is awesome and so on top of that it has two usb charging ports which is a huge bonus power is very important when you're out on the road um, so that way you don't have to keep you don't have to keep turning your car on, wasting gas trying to charge up stuff. You know, you got you got to figure it out. So while I'm driving, I take advantage of it and I charge everything. If it's not a very long drive or from I'm stationary for a very long time, I'll I'll switch over to the solar. And that has been for me that has been working out great. I also have another power bank that I didn't have I didn't bring it with me today because it was actually still on its way i'll add this i'll add that to this clip right here probably at my house so you guys can see what i'm talking about okay so another thing let's see here that i did uh, to this vehicle let's move on to the back so i can show you guys what i mean let's move this seat forward Okay, going in. Okay, told you guys before I removed the back seat. So while I'm sitting in here, I want it like a, an extra working table, something for me to like again cook or I don't know, just a working platform, you know. So I built this little table here in the back and is very handy and and I kind of like how it looks and, and the way it is too you know it's just um, low profile but still um, I still utilize it um, let's see here okay and if I'm sitting here um, you know at night I just turn on my tablet watch a movie you know um, and then if it's too hot I'll turn on the fan and it like just blows directly into my face which is awesome um, and then let's see and then you know if I'm sitting down I'm getting ready don't feel like getting out of the car it's too windy or I'm just lazy or it's cold I'll let's see I don't know if you guys can see me right action cameras all right and then I have my platform here where I can cook um, you know make some drinks <laughs> bartender yeah you guys get the point right this has been working out so much better for me because I have more room and I think I, I made it more functional, at least to my needs. It's working out great. So yeah, the, the fire extinguisher comes with like a little bracket that attaches to the, to, the, to the neck of the bottle. And I screw that bracket into the plastic and now it's completely stationary. Um, you know, it's not going anywhere and 
the it's not flopping around like it was last time last time i just had it loose and it was just kind of like all over the place and i, re I really didn't want to mess this up or have it accidentally go off for some reason <laughs> while i'm driving so now it's very stable um and it ain't going nowhere and if i need it i could just literally pull it out of here and put out the fire right <laughs> yeah and i oh storage once again issues with storage and such a tiny car but if you're a minimalist you have to improvise and you have to come up with new ways uh same as last time i even though the bed lowered uh the bed was up here before right and then i lowered it down here i don't know how many inches that is five inches maybe i have no idea but you get it i lowered it about that much uh, i still had storage underneath which was surprising you know um so i picked up new uh smoother um quarter inch plywood the other one i had would tend to get like splinters every now and then because i didn't sand it down but this one came pre-sanded which is lovely um very smooth also looks a lot better than did last time um uh, still utilize my bubble wrap bubble wrap reflectors um from the last setup got my hiking poles clothes blankets medicine um uh do do do, do my jacket you know a little bit of extra storage never hurt no one um over here i hang my my um, action camera um bag and like all the little you know stuff for it screws and um sd cards and things like that extra batteries um and then i have a piece of a uh, leather piece of an old couch that i was going to throw away so i utilize part of that couch as i think i mentioned on the previous video as well um and i just cut cut a, cut a piece like the length of my bed and i put it here you know and it works out great and when i'm not using it i roll the mattress up and i put it right here and i use the the rear seat belt to hold it in place uh, and I think that's everything uh, I oh one more thing one more thing I finally tinted the windows I couldn't take it man uh, and on the previous video I mentioned that California has some really strict rules about uh, window tinting but guess what I don't give a crap give me the ticket I will take the ticket happily because California Southern California has some intense heat <laughs> and intense Sun and when you're in the car with no tint driving in the desert is like basically having a magnifying glass glass on your face <laughs> so guys i think that about wraps it up with this one um there are some additions that i want to do to this car i want to add the roof rack uh custom roof rack to hold a spare full size spare tire uh because i don't trust those little donut spare tires that these cars come with or any cars these days to be honest um <clears throat> i want to add an electric um, um, mini fridge um, with a sliding drawer uh, system I've seen a lot of guys do this it's not new um, but basically like a drawer system that slides out slides out with the fridge I want to do that to the vehicle um, and once again I want to from from here to here I want to uh, find out someone that can weld <clears throat> and make um, build me um, a roof rack that's low profile 
and that can hold a 15 inch full size spare tire for this vehicle and also I'm going to attach my gas can back up here my jerry can which I miss having um, this car is good on gas though but I still want to have like extra fuel just in case um, but you know be sure to tune in and and see there will be more updates for sure on this vehicle um, it has taken me everywhere I wanted to go from desert deserts to mountains and I'm extremely happy with it um, just I this is the car I wanted you know <laughs> as weird as that may sound I could have chosen any car I chose this one this is the car I wanted I wanted a 2008 Toyota Yaris hatchback two-door very important for me because most of these cars are four doors and I just like the way the two door looks um, and it's been working out great for me it has taken me everywhere that I want to go and it has been very efficient in doing so uh, so anyway I'm rambling on I know thank you guys for tuning in um, be sure to tune in next time I will have more updates on my little uh, mini camper micro camper uh on wheels all right thank you guys and i'll see you on the next one